my faith story. Well, I grew up Catholic um, with the type of family. I just went to church on Easter and Christmas, and that's about it. And then uh, in December of 2005, I remember um, my aunt got sick in the hospital, and um, she actually got diagnosed with uh, spinal meningitis. And the doctors basically said that um, she's probably not going to make it, and if she does, she's either going to come out deaf, blind, or just something's not going to go right. And uh, this woman, Vivian, came into the, into the family room, uh, waiting room, I guess you could say. And uh, she basically just started speaking to us, saying, you know, don't listen to what the doctors are going to say. You know, your aunt's going to be a living miracle for your family. It's going to touch your lives. And we're like, okay, crazy lady, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, after that, my aunt did get, uh, did have a miracle, and she's perfectly fine. I, I think she's here tonight. I'm not sure. She I is. is. <laughs> so after that, that really changed my dad's life. You know, God really changed his life, um, saved him, and he just started talking about God and Jesus, and I was like, Dad, enough of this stuff. I don't know what this Jesus you're talking about or God, but it's like freaking me out and stuff. You need to stop. So then uh, one night I was in my room, and uh, I was sleeping, but I was like half asleep, half up, and I, I saw this vision of like water, and um, you know when someone hits, uh, or just a bang, there's like ripples in the water from like the vibration, that's what I saw, and I kept doing that, and I was scared, and I was calling out to God, I'm like, save me, I don't know what's coming, save me, save me, and then all of a sudden, like the movies, I saw a white light, and um, I just felt something pulling on me. Just pulling me up, up, up. And then all of a sudden something like released out of me. I fell back into my bed and I was like, whoa, what was that? And the next morning I was talking to my dad. I was like, Dad, something happened. I was hysterically crying. I was like, Dad, I don't know what happened. So we talked and I went to school the next day and I just I became like sensitive to my sin. I was uh every time anytime I tried to say something wrong or curse or call somebody a name, I felt I was really guilty about it. I was like, what is that? And I told my dad about that too, and we talked, and um, that was my first encounter with God. And um, after that, typical high school kid doing my own thing, got a girlfriend, uh, went down the long path with that, um, started getting physical or whatever, and I was so far away from God. And I thought I was close because Sunday mornings I'd be in church, and the night before I'd be doing whatever I wanted to do. Um, it wasn't until actually October of this year that um, after four years of being with my girlfriend, we broke up. <coughs> And I was just felt like my world just came crashing down on me. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I felt so alone. I just called out to God. And His word is true. If you seek Him, you'll find Him. And I, I was seeking Him so hard. And He showed up in major ways. He put people around me to help me get through it. And it was just, just such an amazing blessing. I remember one night I was just crying out to God. And I'm done with these two lives. One on Saturday night and one on Sunday morning. And I just... I started really deeply praying and I just saw God showing up and He really changed my life and just so many blessings came out of that and um, it's just something to say when you really see God, He shows up and He blesses you, not only financially or anything like that, but just everything else, all these circumstances, even when things are going bad, you get this peace of knowing that it's going to be alright and you don't have to do it alone and um, after that, we ended up getting back together, and our relationship was just totally restored and, and just amazing. We started praying together, something we never did for four years, and it was just, it was just totally amazing. God's definitely changed my life since then. So now I'm here. That's my story. <laughs> Thank you.